So let's take a look at whether 1 8 is larger or smaller than 1 16. And you might be able to reason this out if you had one object, you divide it into eight pieces or 16 pieces. These pieces would be bigger. 1 8 is greater than 1 16. And you could check that on a calculator as well. You could also try to find a common denominator, something that both 8 and 16 go into evenly. Then we just compare the numerators. So 8 times 2 that equals 16. And down here, we already have 16, so let's just keep this the same. And we can't just multiply the denominator by 2, we have to multiply the numerator as well. That's because 2 over 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1, just multiplying by 1. Don't change the value, just the way it's represented. 1 times 2, that's 2. So 1 eighth and 2 sixteenth, they're equivalent fractions. But now, since we have 16 here and here in the denominator, we can compare the numerators. And 2, that's greater than 1, 2 sixteenths, that's greater than 1 sixteenth, and 1 eighth, that's larger than 1 sixteenth as well. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.